Hello Shift Breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. So we're playing Hard Space Shipbreaker <coughs> and uh, this game on early access on Steam at the moment. Uh, currently we're in the admin oversight uh, update and I'm going to show a basic teardown of a, uh, of a mackerel class ship. So uh, let's have a look. I'm going to go in first and check my equipment. Got some Lynx tokens since the last time I played, and so we've got some tools that need repairing there. So I'll just I usually repair anything that's under 80 percent, uh, 70 something percent, and I'll repair it. Cool. So everything's okay. And we've got a couple of thousand Lynx tokens to spend, so that means we can up to upgrade some of our tools. You can get Lynx tokens by um, by really sort of completing the ships at the, uh, at the as 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 you can sort of get in and, and complete the ships as much as you can. Uh, then you get more Lynx tokens. It'll be a bit easier to explain that once we're up. Up on the ship itself. Um, so let's see what upgrades I've got available. Um, so I can get some extra range on my laser cutter there. More heat capacity. Uh, that's always a good one to have. It stops your tools from overheating. In the utility grapple. Bit more charge push force or more strength? Let's go for the strength. Range isn't really too much of an issue with that tool. Thrusters. Fuel capacity again, not really such an issue. Oxygen capacity is uh, more of a thing. You can see I've maxed out all of my oxygen capacity and I've only got 200 left so I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, do anything there but there's some updates um, some some upgrades rather to my equipment I'm uh, going to get that one soon as well the suit integrity there let's go ahead and start our shift we're going to have to pick what uh, ship we want when you first log in the game by each playing session, uh, you'll have to pick a new ship from scratch. So view your ship catalog. And I'm going to go down a few grades so that we can see a very basic teardown of a low hazard mackerel. Let's go for a grade 2 one. Um, and we'll go for a station hopper, shall we? Usually lots of bits of computers and things in the salvage. There shouldn't be too much uh, hassle on this one, but um, it'll give you an idea of how the ship's put together and what you need to do. Alright kids, oh. I want to try Ow. something. Back in the 21st century, some of the most successful leaders combined aspects of mysticism into their management style. We're going to try something called yoga. You'll start with Steiner. Huh? What? I'm gonna turn off your suit control and you're gonna focus on your breathing, okay? I'm in the middle of moving a fuel cell, Rhodes. No, no! Okay. Rhodes! Now breathe slowly. In through the nose. I I'm drifting towards the furnace, Rhodes. Rhodes, I'm drifting! You're not listening, Lou. Yeah. In through the nose now. It, it's hot, it, it's hot! And out through the mouth. No, help! Oh, dear. Clearly not a lot of leadership potential in you, Lou. Oh, thank God. Rhodes, you psychopath! Hmm. We'll try this again another time, when tempers aren't so high. <laughs> 
Yeah, but uh, Hal Rhodes is a bit of a piece of work. He's the uh, guy sent in by management to uh, break the union activity. Big theme of this uh, this game. Okay then, so you can see we've come through into the back compartment here of this uh, ship and open those two doors. Sometimes you'll get doors here, sometimes you just got to cut through a wall. Um, and you can see I had to rip that door off in order to uh, get in there. I'm just going to go through the ship and open up all the doors and make sure there's no surprises for me. Um, so each time you come into one of these ships, they're configured slightly differently, usually. Uh, so you've got your airlock there, get out, get back out into the uh, fresh vacuum. And what we've got here is these little cut points. So these particular cut points are holding on the floor. That is usually a good first target. So I'm going to select my cutting tool. I'm going to cut it like that. Let's rotate and then get access. And that for that one. Let's just duck under the floor of that and cut through it. Whoops, you see, I can actually. I've cut through a bit of that, but that doesn't matter. We don't care about that. Um, generally speaking, we're trying to do this whilst not cutting through anything valuable. So the cut points are fine. The walls are made of different grades of stuff. So you've got some walls that are made of uh, nanocarbon, which is quite tough and you can't cut through it with the sort of standard grade cutter. Looks like that. Um, as in the, the little bar there. You see there, the bar appears, that's where you're gonna cut. Um, so that's gonna cut through that as just a steel or an aluminium panel. Um, you can see this floor here, again that's all aluminium, so it's probably easiest if we can switch to the other mode of this tool. Oops, switch to the stinger mode, and you can just target on on that and, and not cut anything around there. Cool, okay, so let's grab the grapple, give it a little push, and we're going to yeet that to the furnace because it's made of aluminium. I want to say aluminum today. I'm not American, so I shall resist the urge. Deposit accepted. Deposit accepted, and we're just going to use a tether on that, mostly because it's quick. Caution. Tether supplies Oops, running tether low. supplies are running low. I need to pick up a few more tethers. Okie doke. So once you got the floors off, you can just start chucking all of this furniture and stuff into the box. That's what we're gonna do. I'll go in the processor. Whoops, missed. There we go. So there's no reactors or anything to deal with in this ship. I just want to give you an idea of how the ship's really put together and structured where all the stuff is. Okay. There's a few of these little items scattered about that you can collect. Um, that's for some kind of storyline related reasons, those little collections. Not really sure how it's gonna play out, but hopefully it'll be fun and interesting. Yep, so I've already attached that. Let's just need that across into the processor. So generally speaking the heavy metal, the nanocarbon that all goes into the uh, into the processor. Yeah, kind of scrap metal, the aluminium goes into the furnace, and expensive things like engine nacelles or computers or switches, or furniture. That's not really that expensive. All goes down into the barge, which is underneath you. So I'm just gonna. Grab off anything, and yeah, there we go. Okay, I've got another chair there to go. Sure, swelling it down. Now this stuff in the cockpit's a little bit trickier. I try and pull it out through the door. You can cut the side off the cockpit and get it that way. Uh, that's a bit fiddly as well. It's a bit risky. You can break stuff. Uh, so I tend to just yank it out, get it through the door. A bit tricky with those storage bins. The storage bins are surprisingly valuable. I don't know why. Okay, a couple more storage bins there. 
Yeah, maybe they leave them full of stuff. Maybe they're full of snacks. Tonight. But uh, yeah. Into the bar, say guy. Right. Don't bother with lights. There's lights everywhere. We don't care about that. Right, okay. Now I'm gonna cut off the front of the ship. Again, I'm not too fussed about cutting through two aluminium. I'll just try and keep them in one piece because they're easier to deal with than this. There we go. Okay. So that's the cockpit off. And let's just give it a push. And away it goes. Now you see, oh, we've got some wires there. Let's grab those. Back out of here. So you can see that. Okay then. You can see you've got some aluminium on the inside here. But most of this is all nanocarbon. So, for a quick result, let's just yeet the entire thing into the process. You're not going for a hundred percent scrapping everything like valuable, but it's a balance, it's a balance between time resources and uh, and, and and money that you get and, and, and getting up to those those little diamonds there you see the um, the progress bar along the top there those little diamonds that are on there every time you get past one of those you get some linked tokens and you give a little thumbs up like that so I've just come back to grab some oxygen grab some fuel and a few more tethers and we're back into it See, we've got six minutes to go. We're going to need at least one more shift, I think, to get this ship done. Probably. And let's get that other nacelle off first. Let's get that out of the way. And then we can concentrate on the sides of the ship. This is a low grade ship. It's very. Uh, very simple. There shouldn't be anything that can kill us in this. There's no reactor. I'm not going to bother with that switch because that whole airlock goes, uh, goes down. This back compartment here is usually where the uh, where the thrusters will be. If you want a ship that has thrusters. Us there, but we've got some fuel tanks. Let me just grab those off. No, come back. There we go. There we go. Second one. As soon as you've got oh. five minutes left in this ship, knock out that work order before they turn the lights out on you. We were out. That's a five minute warning. As soon as you unlock tethers, like, really just use them all the time, they're not that expensive. In the scheme of things. Valuable object processed. You get a lot more out of them. So now we're. Oh, there we go, second milestone. So, let's get in the airlock out here. But yeah, those, um, those tethers really save a lot. So, maybe. So, there you go, that's the airlock deconstructed. What you should now find is that all of these side panels, or both of them, those will just come straight off now that I've taken out those cut points underneath. And leaves the airlock behind. Don't need a tether for that, I guess. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposit. Oh, and what's that there? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Take 
は Right. Okay, let's go do the other side. The other side should be a bit simpler because it doesn't have an airlock in it. Fly around. Yep, there we go. We just go straight through there. Get the cutter out. Credits awarded. Grab those bits and pieces. We might not need a second shift for this. In fact, I don't think we're gonna. There you go. All three side panels. Let's have Daisy Chain those. Didn't mean to. Daisy Chaining kind of looks cool, but doesn't really do any more than you can do. There you go, so once you've got that third mile set in there, you can really quit if you want at that point. Okay, that's aluminium, so I'm not going to take it off. All of this structure is aluminium here, so I'm just removing anything that doesn't go in the furnace. But all of that, well, what's that? That's nanocarbon, let's take that off. But yeah, that last panel, aluminium, we're just going to eat this entire structure into the furnace. Now, when you're first starting out and actually doing this grade of shit, you won't have tethers yet. Um, it takes a few levels to unlock them. So, yeah, you'll have to cut this up a bit more and just shove it in by hand, but once you're doing something that's a bit below where you are in the game, it's a lot quicker. Because All right, it's sir. Tethers. Wrap it up. You got about a minute left. Let's just tidy the place up. Just gonna throw all of these on now. Doesn't really matter, it's only worth pennies. That's finished. And there we go, the progress bar's complete. See the dark red at the end, that's the stuff that got destroyed. Um, so a big chunk of that will be the aluminium in the front of the cockpit there. Um, and we got a bit of time, so I'm just gonna go in here. So normally you um, normally you go in the hab to finish your shift, but uh, if you've um, you know if if your timer just runs out on you, then it just finishes your shift for you. Um, but yeah, and it's also worth, of course, uh, just grabbing those um, grabbing those bits and pieces from the uh, from the master jack once you um, once you finish your shift if you've got time, because uh, it saves you time at the start of your next shift. Because um, Apart from oxygen, I think oxygen fills up, but your fuel, your tethers, those will not uh, refill each one each time. Um, and now we can see what rewards we've got. So for getting to that first checkpoint, we get 15 Lynx tokens. For the second checkpoint, we get 30 Lynx tokens. And at the third checkpoint, we get 75 on top of the 30 and on top of the 15, plus a repair kit. Um, and plus, I think you get a few more Lynx tokens for your credits as well. Um, and you earn credits, which pays off your debt. Um, so yeah, it's really worth trying to shoot for those um, those final levels there, because the Lynx tokens really start to uh, add up. And of course, um, you know, paying off the debt is one thing, and, and we're all, all of us shipbreakers are trying to pay off the debt. 
but the Lynx tokens are what you use to upgrade your equipment and stuff, so certainly in the earlier stages of the game where you haven't got all the upgrades you want, then your Lynx tokens are definitely the things you should be targeting rather than cash. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, leave a like and a comment, and uh, I'll be back for a javelin. <laughs>